Hey guys, welcome to our channel. When people get my mask, they usually come for more and they always tell me these are the best masks. And after some reflection, I realized why these are different. I apply my couture knowledge to my mask. Stay tuned because these tricks go beyond of mask making. So let's go. This is the pattern of my mask. I trace it twice. One, I will take it for the top and the other, I will use it for the lining. You can use your own pattern too. We are just checking the way to sew. Here, I make sure to make a 90 degree angle. You can make a quarter inch on top of it if you like. And what I'm gonna do to prepare my sewing is to remove one eighth of the inch at the top and at the bottom of the lining. I have the link to both of these patterns in the description box below. Now I will just proceed and cut my pattern in a normal way. By the way, I'm using my paper scissors, you know? Mm. So as you can see in my pattern, I take in count the nose curve and the curve on the top for the eye to make it comfortable. So make that curve a little bit deeper, but I like it a little bit high at the side so it can hold better. So this is my material. What I'm gonna do, I will just cut two pieces for the top. I will take in count the grain of the material. I draw it here so you can see it. And I make the grain parallel to the salvage. The salvage is the white edge that you see. And uh, usually I cut out the salvage. Here you can see that the pattern for the lining is a smaller, just a little bit. And I'll trace it the same way I did and I cut it. And as you can notice, I'm now using my fabric scissors. So here you go. I have the two patterns, one bigger than the other. And now I will proceed to sew, you know, the drill, sew the front with the right sides together and then sew the lining with the right sides together. In this case, there is no right or wrong. Then I will go and snip the seam allowance and then I will fold the seam allowance to one side to make the top stitch. When I do that, I have three layers of material that will make my center seam stronger and that will give to the mask a better structure. I will do the same with the top part and this top stitch, I'm making it at 1 16th from the edge. And now I'm sewing the top part of my mask I will put them together. Remember, one side was smaller, but I'm putting them together and then I will sew them again, right size together. In normal circumstances, I will snip all around to allow the seam allowance to open. But in that case, I just snip twice because I want this to be very tight. So it get tighter to the face. Now what I'm gonna do is an under stitch. This under stitch will prevent the lining to roll up to the other side. It seems that it's more job and it's very couture and everything, but in fact, it makes the mask easier to work with. Now I'm aligning the bottom part together and I'm sewing at one quarter inch like I did on the top. Now I'm turning it inside out and my mask is almost done and the edges are folded in. And notice how it looks so well structured. This is just two layers, guys. Now I'll keep going and then I'm gonna do two top stitch. And as you can see, it's so easy and I don't have to iron it before or anything because the under stitch helped me with that. Now I'm gonna do the bottom part of the stitch for that I will pull the material very well to make sure that both sides are very well aligned. And then I top stitch and my mask is coming together. Look how it looks. You can see the top part in the lining, but you cannot see the opposite. Now I'm gonna do a quick iron from the center to the sides. Thumbs up for my mini ironing board. And now is the time for the elastic case. If this were like an haute couture finish, I will fold it twice, but I don't like that finish because it tends to make the mask too stiff. What I prefer instead of double folding is to serge. I'm serging and I'm leaving a little bit of tail and you can just cut it after, 
but you can leave a little bit of raw material. So another way to do it is you can use a big needle. These are bull needles that I have. And then you just thread one of your tail to the needle. And then you are going to insert it through the serge. Then you are going to cut the excess and it's completely clean. If you don't have the needle, you can use a hook and the hook will do exactly the same job. This one is the, was a little bit difficult because the hook was a little bit too small, but you can find a good one. And then you cut the excess and that's it. Another way that is easier, a little bit lazy, but stay perfectly, is to just to fold it in, cut the excess, and then fold it and sew it. And that won't go anyway. Of course, you have to remember to step on it when you sew. Now I'm gonna take my elastic and I will place it more or less half an inch from the edge and I will sew it. That will make a case a little bit loose, but this is what I want because sometimes you have to replace the elastic when people use really hot water. So what I'm doing here is just sewing the edges. As you can see, I am very careful with that. And then I'm going to slide in the rough edge. A good step will be to stitch it in the center so the elastic doesn't move. But I honestly don't want to do that because sometimes if the mask wearer has very small face, it's good that the elastic pull the mask and make a kind of a scrunch. And it's good that the elastic flip a little bit to do that. Remember, everybody has different face shape. That's not ideal, but this is what I found that is more practical. Now I'm going to insert the silicone toggles and um, I did that in another video so you know how it does. I just take my hook and then pull it through. Here you go. I'm a very strong woman. Huh? If you don't have a hook then you can just use a needle and a thread and then just put it in. Start with the small part, put it through, put the needle back again and then oh let's i don't know why i'm not in a superhero movie and there you go guys this is my mask see how strong it is just two layers and see how it looks so this is the simple way to do it is fast it seems more difficult but in fact it's easier now let me show you how to add a third layer. In that case, it would be great if you can use polypropylene and you cut another layer the size of the top. And then what you are going to do, you will sew like the polypropylene and the top are one layer. You put them together and then you sew it in the center, the fourth layers together like a sandwich and then you do everything as normal you do your snip you do your top stitch you sew your lining and in this case the top stitch will be so structural because now you have one two three four five layers and here you go this is the mask finish it looks so nice look how strong it is look at the edges again like a, you cannot see the lining from outside. Now I'm gonna show you how to add a filter pocket. So you have your two layers and the filter pocket will be exactly like the lining, just a little bit shorter by one inch at the extremes. So you're going to sew the pocket in the center and a snip. And then before the top stitch, you are going to sew the edges. You are going to do like a mini hem in both edges and then you are going to top stitch the center. I prefer to do the edges first because it's more flat. After I do the top stitch, it takes the curved shape. Now I'm gonna sew my lining in the center, snip, top stitch, and then I'm going to put together the lining and the pocket. So I'm sewing at the bottom and at the top, and I will make sure that everything aligns perfectly. 
And remember, if you have your pattern well cut, everything should align perfectly. And now I will proceed and make my mask in the normal way. I am turning and sometimes if I turn, I turn with the pocket the other side, but you just fix it. It does not a big deal. And see how it looks. It looks really great. I love this pattern. Look, the stroke is very strong. Look at the edge and look the pocket. And let me try. You see, good contour, see here, see here, you can breathe, it's really good. So guys, that was all for today, I hope that you liked this video, please don't forget to subscribe and hit like, bye!